Sorry about that. Just got a call from A1 Appliances coming to fix my refrigerator because it is leaking. All right, anyway, let's get back to this because he'll be here in 20 minutes and it won't take that long to do this. So, what you do is you get your sphagnum moss, put it in water, that way it's malleable, and you start putting it all over. You try to want to kind of want to lay it down flat as possible. I always start at the top. And then I go around. Okay. And you just wrap around. Okay. And then you see a spot that you need the moss on and you wrap around. Then you see another spot. I don't know what I did with my name tag for this orchid. This is a little orchid I got. It is a better grow orchid as well from Home Depot. Um, I had a an orchid perish on me the other day, but the good thing is if you keep your receipt, they actually do allow exchanges at Home Depot. Um, that is also a good tip that I heard from another YouTuber. And I did not know about it, and I just happened to find my receipt for the orchid that I had purchased, and I brought it up there, and no problem. I'm probably wrapping around a little bit more than I should in some of these areas, but it'll be fine. I don't really care if it looks 100% perfect. My partner just doesn't like me going out and buying a whole bunch of new um, pots all the time because they can get pretty expensive until springtime the dollar store has them. I think I am going to do this with my maxillary. I love, love, love the maxillary tenifolia. I love the way it grows. I love the way it smells. I live in Florida, so who doesn't like the smell of coconuts in Florida, right? Reminds me of all the spring breaks I used to have even though we used to go to North Florida because I am a Bama boy at heart. All right, this is gonna be the last few wraps I'll make. Watch out so you don't get your fingers. Now, once you start doing this a lot, you can start making little designs with the way that you wrap. I've tried it a few times, still not very good at it, but it is a work in progress. You can see how it's already starting to look. I love the way these look when they all turn out. Make sure not to forget the very top because the top has to go down as well.
you just keep wrapping around. I'm going to show you a little trick I do once you're done. Now there's some pieces just hanging out. You can shape it up however you'd like. I'm gonna try to get this piece to go down. And then whatever is excess, just pick off. All right, so when you get here, go all the way up to the top, wrap around, and then you're gonna go over your back loop. So what a back loop is, it's the last loop that you do. You're gonna go under it. So I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna loosen it, pull it back through. And then let it get tight again. I'm actually going to pull it tight. Until it gets here. And then you've made a hanging ball plant. Not too shabby, right? All right, guys. My name is Robert Clark. I have not come up with a name for myself yet. So if you would like to post something telling me what my name should be, I am new to the Tuber Society. Um, Oh, you can also do two if you want to hang it like this, by the way. Forgot to tell you that. But anyway, um, I will catch you later. Peace.